Hello. Today I am going to show how Nuage Virtualized Network Services is able to support the deployment, management, and service chaining of virtual network functions seamlessly within its SD-WAN overlay network. In part one, I demonstrated the ease in which we were able to deploy a hosted VNF into an SD-WAN branch site. In part two, I will show how the Nuage declarative policy model is used to insert the VNF into the data plane and expose the new value-added service in the branch on demand. Wide area networks and enterprise VPNs have often dictated the need for network functions to be distributed to the branch site. Traditionally, this has been complex and costly to deploy, maintain, and manage. The hosted VNF model that Nuage Virtualized Network Services now supports greatly increases the agility of deploying new services, reduces complexity and operational overhead, and with an open VNF approach, provides the ability to layer in best of breed value-added services. There is no lock-in here. Existing investments and operational expertise on technologies of vendors can be leveraged. Supported in conjunction with Nuage's rich set of routing and traffic management features and its abstracted policy model, the integration Nuage provides for VNF deployment enables a highly scalable approach for deploying features and services. And with an open REST API, the Nuage virtualized services platform is ready to be integrated into any higher level orchestration platform if needed. Recalling our deployment, we have a multi-site SD-WAN VPN deployed across two isolated network underlays, managed by the Nuage underlay border router. We've deployed the FortiGate virtual firewall onto branch 4, which can be managed either from the Forti Manager deployed inside the data center, or from anywhere we choose in the overlay. In part 1, we demonstrated connectivity from the branch to the data center. In this case, I will connect to the FortiGate from another branch site, showing the flexibility of having the VNF management in the overlay. The VNF that we deployed will be used to secure outbound traffic from branch 4 to the internet. Using the Nuage policy model, we insert the VNF into the data path by redirecting our policy selected traffic into the firewall. We will then apply a web filtering policy inside the FortiGate firewall, blocking any undeclared web traffic. Logging into VSD, we can check the status of the VNF we previously deployed. Our FortiGate virtual firewall is running on an NSGX at the branch 4 location, and we can see here that it is operational. I am going to log into the FortiGate web UI directly from another branch location. As the FortiGate was added to the Forti Manager in part 1, we will receive some warnings telling us that it is currently centrally managed. However, as Nuage is able to connect the VNF management interface into the overlay, we are able to stretch the management network to any location. Using FortiView, we are able to check any traffic that is currently being sent to the firewall. From the destinations view, we can see here that the firewall is receiving no traffic. We do know that there is traffic being generated from the branch 4 subnet. Thus, we can see that the firewall is not yet part of the data path and needs to be inserted. We do this by redirecting the branch traffic into the firewall and creating a short service chain. The first thing we need to do is create redirection targets for the VNF, one for each leg of the inside and outside interfaces in the firewall, in this case the LAN side interface and the WAN side interface. Once we have created our redirection targets, we need to create a forwarding policy. We will do this for both traffic from and to the branch. Our service chain policy will state that any traffic sourced from the branch 4 subnet and destined for the internet will be redirected into the VNF and vice versa. In our particular policy design, all other overlay traffic, that is branch to branch or branch to data center, will continue to be forwarded by the overlay and will not be redirected to the firewall. Now that the policy has been created and enabled, we should expect to see traffic traversing the firewall. Looking at the destinations on the web console again, we can now see the traffic that has been sourced from branch 4 and is destined for the internet. We can see a mix of web, DNS and ICMP traffic. If we take a look at branch 4, we can see each of the web requests that are being generated, where I'm hitting Salesforce, Workday, Dropbox, Google, Nuage Networks and ESPN, along with a background ping, which all aligns with the traffic we saw traversing the firewall. Looking at the policies the firewall is currently enforcing, we can see that it is permitting all traffic between the virtual wire pair, that is, the LAN and WAN side interfaces of the VNF. The last policy by sequence in the list is a URL whitelist, which I previously created. If we look at the whitelist of the web filter, I am permitting any traffic to Workday, Salesforce, and Dropbox. However, any other requests will be blocked by the firewall. We can enforce this policy simply by promoting it to the top of the list. Once this is updated on the firewall, we should expect to see some of the branch traffic being blocked. Checking the web requests, we can see that Salesforce, Workday and Dropbox are still being served, while Google, Nuage Networks and ESPN are being blocked by the FortiGate. And with that, our VNF firewall is now on the data path. 
During the past two demonstrations, I have shown the Nuage approach to VNF hosting and value-added service enablement. Leveraging the Nuage virtualized services platform, our VNF support is agile, open, secure, and scalable. For more information, visit www.nuagenetworks.net forward slash VNS. Thank you.